So for today, we're going to be talking about the playlist armor. So let me explain the background of this video because I've been wanting to make this video since the state of the game from last year. The thing is just time. I haven't had time to make it because I've just been busy with everything that's been coming out so now that we have some downtime um i have 10 minutes nine minutes until the new mass effect armor comes out i'm definitely going to get that hopefully we can get it through bright dust because i don't want to spend money but if not it's fine i guess because uh what is an extra 60 bucks to bungee at this point uh, like man i am the shell of a former self like man really if you check out my older content you guys will see just how much of a anti everest person I really really was I still am it's just kind of more of a I've just given up at this point like it'll happen regardless if I fight it or not so I might as well just get some cool shit along the way but that's not that video let's talk about this playlist thing so I had really big issues with the play with the state of the game last year I mean everyone did Joe Blackburn had to come out and basically say like hey yo hey yo we're bringing out some dope stuff for you guys and that kind of like quailed a lot of our anger even though for me i was just still like it's it's like a shot in the dark almost because there's just so much problems with the game that some of the things you did say was cool but at the same time it's not enough anymore but i would want to share what the main focus of this video is so armor set rewards a long time ago we shared a plan to address concerns on reward balance players have pointed out that we didn't release a new armor set for the new ritual playlists so vanguard crucible and gambit with lightfall as previously called out in our yearly release schedule del delivering ritual armor sets at the rate at the rates we have in the past has become increasingly challenging especially considering these sets have historically had very low adoption by players as both base armor and cosmetic ornaments at this point, we are amending our deliver delivery plans for how often we refresh these sets and we will no longer be creating a new set for every expansion. However, we are prioritizing the delivery, the delivery of a new ritual set or ritual armor set alongside the final ship to infuse some new looks you'll be able to show off from your time in the Vanguard Crucible or Gambit playlist. We also have a new armor set for Trials of Osiris releasing. It doesn't matter. It's the, it's the dragon and the bear one that we got. Um, so i spent a lot of time looking up where it was because i didn't remember if it was in a twab or in the state of the game and all of this to say that bungie you like i understand it has low adoption rates but you also have to understand that a lot of the armor that we got after like vanilla destiny 2 not even vanilla destiny i would say like if i'm being realistically after forsaken have been like really trash so we're going to be going through Vanilla Destiny 2, Forsaken, Season of Dawn, and I think the other one was Beyond Light and Witch Queen. Those are the, those, like all of those that I've mentioned are the only times we've gotten a new armor set for a playlist. Some of them is just one armor set for one playlist. You guys will see in a bit. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. This took a while because I had to get the armor. We're not going to be rotating the armor because we have a lot of armor to talk about. And a lot of it is just reskins, which is very unfortunate, but I'm going to give you my thoughts about all of the armor, what I think about them and why people weren't, aren't using them. This is going to be a lot of opinionated as well. So if you guys have your own opinion, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about the armor, because I do think a lot of this armor is pretty trash. So we're going to be starting off with Vanilla Destiny 2. The way we're going to format this is we're going to be doing Crucible first then vanguard and then gambit just because that's the way i wanted to do it so let me know what you guys think other than that let's look at crucible vanilla destiny 2 now i will say before we actually look at the armor i will not be showcasing the year two and year three ornaments for crucible and vanguard specifically because that armor has never been available outside of year two and year three so if you can't get it then why would i even post it um, a lot of people who are going to be watching this I am, I am that person. I don't have it because I switched over from PS4 to PC. And at that time, we didn't have uh, the the thing where you can switch your PS4 account to your PC account. We didn't have that at the time. So at that point, I was just like, I have to choose either PS4 or, PS or PC. And at, th at the time, PC had a lot more stuff for myself. So that's why I don't have a lot of those things. And I imagine a lot of people who are 
just coming in or have been here for at least like three four years don't have that so that's why i'm not going to be posting that and i just don't have the armor so without further ado let's look at vanilla destiny 2 so here's the vanilla destiny 2 armor i will be the first to tell you that i actually like this armor not so much the warlocks but the hunters and titans i think look really cool but it will also be the first to tell you that this all of these armor sets are a reskin of another armor set it's a world drop armor and there's not a lot that differentiate itself from it literally it is a reskin which is why as much as i love this armor set i can't really just be like oh this is the best because i think personally the world drop armor is way better specifically because it doesn't have the phoenix like pictures everywhere and it just shaders better and the chest piece for the titans the fur actually goes all the way at the bottom which looks really really cool and the arms aren't as big as the other set so like as much as i love this armor set i can't really deny the fact that we already have a better look for this armor set from the world drop armor so it's really unfortunate but the next armor set is going to be from forsaken so again i am skipping year two and year three just because a i don't have it and most people don't have it as well because they were only available through those seasons so hopefully bungie brings brings back that armor because a lot of it is really really cool but for me next up is going to be forsaken and I'm going to be the first to tell you I'm not the biggest fan of this armor. I think there's cool pieces. I like the helmet for the uh, I like the helmet for the hunters. The arms are pretty cool. The chest I actually have it unlocked and I've used it in a on some occasions. The boots I think are pretty terrible and I think the cloak is pretty cool. Uh, same thing for the titans i don't like the whole thing but i think the mark is definitely really cool i think the helmet can definitely be utilized and i think the arms have potential warlocks i think that helmet is super dope and that's pretty much it like this is going to be the most unique armor set that we you're, you're going to be looking at because everything else is not that unique let's go actually to the next set which is going to be from beyond light the cinder pinion now <clears throat> this is this is where i get really like, like annoyed because the fact that not only did bungie have the audacity to pretty much just say that oh yeah people don't really pick up the playlist armors which is why we're not going to make anymore when they make armor sets like this is why i get really annoyed because i personally think this armor set's pretty terrible um the boots for like i uh, all right so let's go through the classes i think the helmet for the hunters is really really cool very much the best piece in my opinion the chest piece definitely pretty cool although i would i would much prefer if the material on the chest wasn't like we like that texture i feel like it would have been better if it was just like an actual leather uh arms are pretty cool i just wish the two like big bomb things on the right side of the arm were not there I think the boots are terrible. I think the boots are the worst part, and I think the cloak is pretty cool. Uh, Titans, I think the helmet's pretty boring. I think the arms are probably the best piece. Boots are also really cool. Chest piece is pretty cool. Again, though, I would much prefer if the stomach material was a little bit or different, just something else, like maybe like a matte leather would have been really cool. And I think the mark is okay. Ty or <laughs> Warlocks, I think the helmet's pretty cool. I think, again, like, the, like I said, I just don't like that material. It kind of looks like like those thermal like blankets i just don't like that texture the texture kind of like annoys me arms are kind of boring especially with that bombs I th again the bomb thing i think would have been way better on like your actual guardian like maybe on the waist or maybe on like some chest piece or anywhere else but the arm really and the boots for the warlocks are pretty boring bond is actually pretty decent so like i've actually used a lot of these pieces in different sets specifically the hunter's helmet i've used the hunter's cloak i use not this one but the gambit one and the arms for the titans i actually have it unlocked because i've made some really cool sets with it and the helmet for the warlocks i've used as well it's just the fact that like i don't like certain pieces and you're gonna notice this because this again is unfortunately i don't know who thought of this and i get i get why you did it but it's not good uh this armor set you're gonna see in the vanguard and the gambit one they reuse this armor set just different engravings that's literally the whole difference and this is not even gonna be the last time they do this because the next set that we're gonna be looking at is the cloth x doll this is the one that people have talked about that's really really cool unfortunately this also shares the same problem with the cinder pinion where 
you're going to see this armor again with the Vanguard and the Gambit one. Again, I get what they did that because it take it like shaves off time of having to make new armor sets for the other playlists. But it also brings the problem of now your shit just is going to look terrible because it's just going to look the same but with just different engravings. So this one, uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The worst problem, the, the worst part about the, the clutch X doll or this armor set in general for all of the playlist ones is if you don't want any of the playlist engravings, just get the blue armor. The blue armor does not have any of those problems, which is another big problem. Why are you going to give me this playlist armor when you already have it available in the world pool? with no no engravings you're just literally asking for me not to use this because now i would have to fight the engravings for a lot of these like for the hunter specifically the the like crucible engraving is not even like in the middle it's like half of my stomach so why would i use this same thing for all the classes um again the only pieces that i would really use are pieces that don't have that engraving so the helmet for the everyone actually everyone's helmet's pretty cool the cloak for the hunters, the mark and helmet, that's pretty much it. And then for the warlocks, the boots and the helmet. That's the only things I would actually use from this. And this is from Witch Queen. The next one's going to be Vanguard. This one, we're going to be going through Vanilla Destiny 2. The took offense, I actually really like. Unfortunately, the cloak does not change colors for certain uh, shaders, which is really annoying. I really like it because it's very unique. It's not like a lot of cloaks that we have because it has a neck guard, which I think is really cool. I think the chest piece is really cool. I think the arms are kind of boring. I think the boots, unfortunately, have the same problem as the other um, armor set because this is a reskin of another armor set that we have in game, which is a world world. Uh, drop the white bandages don't change color which is very unfortunate same thing with the titans same thing with the warlocks all of it is basically a reskin from a world drop armor that we already have but i like the titans a little bit more just because it does have that like rib not ribbon but that cloth on the right side of the pauldron i think that's pretty cool but other than that every, again everything is reskin and it's just very unfortunate warlocks um I like the reskin of it better because, again, it's the same problem that the Clutch x -Doll had where we already have a reskin of this in the world pool and it doesn't have a lot of the problems that I have with the with the crew or with the playlist armor where it has a lot of pieces that don't change color, like specifically Titans, you have that like Vanguard logo on each of the legs. In the, in the uh, world drop armor, it doesn't have that. So I might as well just use that because it'll shader better. So that's like my biggest issue with the playlist armor is the fact that there's other there's better armor out there that doesn't have an a shader limitation for the next armor set it's going to be the vigil of heroes this came out in season of dawn and again this is a reskin of the mercury armor and it's probably worse if i'm being quite honest like it's again like i don't want to bash bungie but at the same time they they kind of have it coming sometimes, especially considering these sets have historically had very low adoption by players as both base armor and cosmetic ornaments. Specifically, you're giving me ornaments that I already have in game, like the Vigil of Heroes. I already have this in game from Mercury. Granted, do we have Mercury in the game anymore? We don't, but that's not something that Zer could. That's something Zer could easily fix. He could just sell the Mercury armor and be done with it. So, I'm just kind of annoyed that here we are looking at vigil of heroes I, I promise you when this armor came out i was already mad because i was just like bro we already have this armor in game like what are you doing bungie the next one's gonna be phobos war and this one came out in beyond light with the cinder pinion and the gambit one as well so i'm not even gonna say it in the next one but yeah i can't really mention anything that i've already didn't mention in the cinder pinion one it just has vanguard logos now which is whatever even the, the worst part too is the fact that like the green on the hunter specifically like the bottom jaw of the helmet and the neck guard don't change color at least for the neck guard i don't remember for the helmet but i'm pretty sure it doesn't change color but for the neck guard it does not change color and i was super mad because that's the one i actually wanted to use but yeah i can't really mention or say anything that i already didn't say in this in your opinion one the only thing is like i oh yeah this is the, the like these are the arms for the titans that i actually used because the stripe on the right side isn't as bad as the other ones so there is that 
for the next one again photo suede came in witch queen same as the others it's literally just vanguard themed this one is a little bit better granted but it's like why would i even try to do this one when the other one the world drop one just is better overall granted this one may shader a little bit better maybe but whatever it's like why i don't know it just pisses me off that we got the same armor twice in different like expansions but then they say especially considered these sets have historically had very low adoption by players is like such a it's one of those things that bungie does where they make a problem and they don't fix it and it becomes a bigger problem and then they are basically like yeah we don't know what happened just you know the problem just happened and we can't fix it it's like bro like you gave us shitty armor off the get-go like you guys gave us shitty armor and you gave it for all of the playlists and now you're saying yeah i don't know why players aren't really getting these like yes because they all look the same and we have a better alternative in the world drops like what is so the next one's going to be gambit and this one is from forsaken considering that's when gambit came out i really appreciate that it's very unique granted i don't use pretty much any of the hunter one just because it shaders pretty terribly and also i'm just not the biggest fan of the pieces like the arms i think are pretty trash i think the helmet's pretty trash i think the boots are really cool if you go for a cowboy theme um and the cloak as well but the, again the cloak doesn't shader really well a lot of it doesn't really shader that well so that's why i really don't like to use it titans though i think the helmet is super dope i think the chest piece is super dope i think the boots are my favorite um the mark is cool and the arms are cool i just never use them and then the warlocks i use the helmet almost all the time i think the chest piece is fine um i just don't like this distressed look but some other players might like that same thing with the boots and same thing with the arms and i th the bond i actually have it unlocked because i th think it's really cool so like we're not gonna be going through the gambit like uh roll armor because that's not a playlist armor that is an armor from um from season of the drifters so that's why i'm not gonna post that just before people start telling me anything and then we get to again calamity rig for beyond light and i'm probably just gonna be here for like a minute just because again not even 30 seconds probably just because again there's not a lot i can mention that i are, i didn't already mention in the, the previous post but um, I think the helmet is going to be the best one just because it has a whole color. That being said, the crucible one is the same thing. I, this is the chest or the, this is the cloak that I actually use when I want to use this cloak, because I definitely think it's a really good cloak. If you want to go for like, when you take the hood off, it looks really, really cool. And that is really it. 30 seconds is up, I guess. Um, next one is going to be Viper dicks and it's the same thing, dude. This one's even worse because it has the snake coiling everywhere and I really don't have anything to mention so that is pretty much it for all of the playlist armor sets let me know if i missed one i'm pretty sure i didn't because realistically we have not gotten a lot of the playlist armor and for bungie to just straight up tell us especially considering these sets have historically had very low adoption rate by players as both base armor and cosmetic ornaments is such a slap to the face especially when the armor base armor why would i use the base armor when artifice armor exists when anything else exists because that is my other main gripe is the fact that the cosmetic ornaments yeah you guys are giving us the same ornament or the same look for a lot of the playlist uh armors and a lot of it's not even that good personally speaking and then we get to the base armor where not only are you giving us shit that does not look cool but you're also giving it to us for all of the playlist and not only that there is no path for us to get any armor that's equivalent to artifice armor because i've said this before and i will say it again artifice armor is the best armor in the game if you're trying to like really bump up your stats because you're getting a free three stats per artifice armor which means 12 free stats on anything you want which is super dope why would i give that up for armor that does not give me any benefit whatsoever like nothing so this is tony from the future just to let you guys know that i recorded all of this like two three weeks before the pvp twabs came out so just to let you guys know crucible is getting artifice armor which is really really dope and very much appreciated it's going through comp which is duh this that's the only way you would be able to do it 
So that is really good. Um, PvPers are getting artifice armor. If I remember correctly, you have to be like gold three or higher to be actually able to get the armor, if I remember correctly. But it's still a good change because that means people can actually get artifice armor from just doing PvP. Um, now we just need Gambit. Like I said, we either need a comp like playlist or let us buy it through engrams and let us like hold like maybe 20 or 10 engrams equals one artifice armor i think that would be pretty decent if you don't want to go through a comp version of gambit then let us buy it through like again 10 artifice or five if they want to be really nice five engrams would be really nice because then that means i don't have to play that many matches of gambit but 5 to 10 I think would be really nice. 20 I think would be too much. 15 would definitely be too much as well. And then for Vanguard, honestly, just drop them from Grandmasters. If you want to be really, really nitpicky, uh, yeah, just drop them from Grandmasters. I think that would be really nice. I do think a weekly um, a weekly quest would be really nice. Uh, let's say you, have, you only have to play like 6 matches and you get one armor set or one armor piece i think that would be really cool as well but i just wanted to explain that this was this was uh, recorded before the pvp changes were announced so let's get back to the video like here's just a shot in the dark but if the armor from crucible vanguard or gambit gave me like artifice level armor i actually would not mind doing like nightfalls or maybe comp or maybe some version of comp for Gambit because I feel like that would be really good or smart or just like a different, I don't know. So like if you want to fix the base armor thing, then you definitely would have to lock the artifice armor behind the Nightfalls Grandmaster for sure. Uh, Crucible specifically comp or you could do trials too. I wouldn't mind that but i wouldn't put it behind flawless i feel like that would be way too hard for most players especially if you're doing comp or pvp so i would probably do it behind behind comp would probably be best actually and like not all the way up just like maybe halfway you start getting the like chance of getting artifice armor and the higher up you go then maybe you start can actually farm artifice armor and then for gambit i would definitely do like a like a rated gambit playlist so that way people can start to get harder things that would mean actually like going into gambit and making sure you could actually do stuff but i don't think that i don't think bungie would do that because they're trying to kill the, the playlist which i think is very unfortunate i think gambit is very much a playlist that can survive and thrive in this environment it's just bungie would have to actually work on it and you know bungie working just doesn't seem i don't want to bash bungie but at the same time like me i so the reason i made this video is because i started thinking about the playlist armor and then i remembered about the whole uh adoption rate is really low and immediately got me mad and fired up to make this video so let me know what you guys think i definitely think the whole reason the adoption has been so low is because a the armor looks like trash you gave it to us three times so three time trash and then you gave I, there's one armor set that i didn't mention this one is is the uh the bone armor that one i didn't mention it a because bungie's or destiny 2 is down right now because again the weekly reset is today and some people still don't have that armor set but i will have it up um later i really like that armor set it's just i don't like that it shaders really terribly which again is another problem you're guy you're giving us a, like personally i really like the armor but you're giving us a problem with that armor which means it doesn't shader well at all uh the bone color does not change color just fix that problem and i think that would be the best playlist armor aside from the vanilla, vanilla destiny 2 uh pvp stuff for the hunters and titans warlocks you guys look like buns but let me know what you guys think i i apologize that this video was a little longer than i wanted it to be but i wanted to go through all of the armor and really just explain to you guys why no one uses this playlist armor specifically bungie if you guys are watching this with shot in the dark but if they are watching this it's because you guys drop really trash armor that's literally the only reason why people have not adopted a lot of this armor granted this is coming from someone who has used a lot of this armor in different sets it's just too much trouble than what it's worth like realistically and a lot of it is just the a reskin of another thing so yeah that's another problem so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you all be safe i'll see you guys later